The most common question I get asked as an affiliate marketer is, Hey Spencer, what's the fastest way to make money as an affiliate marketer? Now I'm gonna be honest, I really do not like that question, but there is a good answer, and this video has that answer. Uh, here's, the, uh, here's the answer. All these payments we're showing you on the screen, every one of these came solely from using the method that I'm about to show you. This method doesn't require being an ads master or some kind of Facebook ads guru. In fact, I've seen people make money from this method the first day they use it. It also doesn't require some kind of big budget. I've used personally myself and seen others use this method using just $5 a day in advertising budget and do incredibly well. And the last thing it doesn't require is any of those big complicated funnels that are hard to build. No funnels required. So let's dive in and talk about how this method works. So the first thing that I really need people to understand as we're looking into this method is it only works with specific affiliate programs. So you can't just grab this method I'm about to show you and use it on any affiliate program that you're currently affiliating with. It won't work for a lot of programs. But the only hard part about this method is finding the right affiliate program. And once you find the right affiliate program, this method is gold. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look on the screen and we're gonna talk about finding the affiliate programs that this works for and what we're looking for. So the site that I use is called captera.com. You could also just choose a niche and once again, head over to Google and type in you know, best affiliate programs for the pet niche or the best affiliate programs in the software niche and you'll get lists upon lists upon lists. Gotta love those affiliate bloggers. Now it's important to note this one thing as well. What we're looking for typically is affiliate programs that are kind of self-hosted. They're being run by the business themselves. They're not being run by a big broker like Commission Junction, Flex Offer, Share a Sale, ClickBank, any of those ones. The, this method doesn't work well typically when they're running their affiliate program through one of those platforms. But back to Captera, you can see on the screen what Captera is, is it's pretty much like the internet's largest database of software companies. So it's not actually built for what we're gonna be using it for, but we want to find software companies that we can do this affiliate marketing method with, and Captera is the greatest database there is. So the way it's built is categories. You can see if you click software categories, it's gonna show you all kinds of categories. Um, I mean, there's 700 or more categories alone, let alone actual softwares that we're gonna be looking at. So you wanna pick a category that interests you, and specifically, you wanna find a category that hopefully will have a lot of companies. So for example, cemetery software, I'm not gonna click that. <laughs> well, I just saw that for the first time, that's funny. So cemetery software is not what I'm gonna shoot for, probably because there's like two softwares in the entire cemetery software business. <laughs> But here is one that I think will fit really nicely. That's all in one marketing platforms. If you've been on the internet for any amount of time, you know this is the hottest time for the all in one Mac marketing platforms. They are popping up like daisies. It's out of the snow, like daisies. Okay, and you can see it's gonna give us 24 products. I would have hoped for a little more. I'm a little surprised. They've gotta be missing some here. But let's dive in and look and talk about what we're looking for. So what we're looking for is typically a good size company that's not too good size. Now that's confusing, but we're looking for a company that's got maybe more than $5 million in revenue, but less than $50 million in revenue, or maybe less than $100 million in revenue. And, uh, and we'll talk about the reasoning for that, but that's kind of that sweet spot where this method seems to have done best for me. Now, um, so I'm looking at Asana there. Asana's been given a lot of money. I'm sure they're worth a ton more than, than $50 to $100 million. Um, but there's some other ones here, Marketing360, Meltwater, User.com, Keep. These are ones that are much more uh, mid-size. In fact, some of them I haven't even heard of, so they might be even too small. But let's dive in and start uh, talking about what we do here. So step one is you're going to start um, opening up all of these different uh, platforms. So you're gonna search for each one of them and you're gonna type in affiliate program. So Marketing360 Affiliate Program, okay? And I'm gonna do this actually with every single one of these on this page. So I'm gonna open up about 20 different uh, Google pages searching for these affiliate program. What we're doing is we're actually gonna go be reading through their terms and conditions because we want to make sure the method we're using is allowed with these affiliate programs. All right, and I only opened up a few because I found one that kind of fits the parameters of what we're looking for, so we're gonna move forward with that. Um, so one of the ones that I looked up as I was scrolling down here was called SharpSpring. I don't know what SharpSpring is. It looks like a fairly good sized company, uh, maybe even outside of our range on the top side. But uh, if you look here, it, uh, they've, they've got their affiliate program right here. All you gotta do is click get started. 
And you can see they now have affiliates.sharpspring.com. And then you continue to scroll down and it's got terms and conditions. And this is what we want to look at. Okay, so we want to make sure that this method is allowed with the company. Um, obviously, we don't, want to, we don't want to go on the wrong side of any of these companies um, or do anything illegal. So you're going to click that right there. Now we're going to start looking for specific keywords inside of these terms and conditions, okay? And funny enough, one of the keywords that we're going to be looking for is actually keyword. <laughs> so you can see I typed in control F and I typed in keyword. It's not there. Look up the word bid and you can see the word bid, I can't even spell bid, is not there, only the word for bid. We're going to look up um, search, okay, see if the word search is there. Um, we're going to look up the word Google, we're going to look up the word AdWords, we're going to look up keywords, I think we already did that one, okay, and you're going to look up the word branded, okay, nothing about any of those. Um, and that kind of is crazy because this seems like a bigger company that probably wouldn't um, allow this. So it may, they may be even worth reaching out to before you start with this company and saying, hey, I'm looking at doing this method. Um, is that okay with you if I, if I you know, do this? So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually go into Google itself, okay? And you're going to type in the name of that company. So in our case, that company is called SharpSpring. Okay, and you can see here, we've got an ad from a company I've never heard of, uh, the best automation platform, Scale. And then we've got SharpSpring showing up right beneath this. Okay, this is good. So, so far both things have worked out for us and we can, um, this means this is probably a platform um, pending maybe we get approval from them that we can use this method on. I wanna add a quick side note and say usually I don't find companies this fast. This took me about 10 minutes and I only looked through three or four different companies on Captera. Typically it takes a little more time. Step number two is just signing up for their affiliate program. So I'd go to SharpSpring where I'm here and I would fill out this document right here. Yep, that's the entire step two. I told you guys it would get easier. Too easy. Step three is you're going to need to either create an AdWords account or if you already have an AdWords account or I believe now it's called Google Ads. If you already have an account, you can just go in and log in there. It's very easy to create if you have a Gmail account. All you gotta do is go to ads.google.com and it'll talk you through kind of a medium-sized process of, of what you need to do before you can have this account. Now, if you've never, ever touched Google AdWords in your entire life, you're gonna wanna click subscribe because the video we put out next week is actually going to be a detailed tutorial about AdWords so you have a better understanding of where you're actually putting your money. But let's talk about what we're gonna do here, okay? So we've chosen the program, SharpSpring, we've applied to be an affiliate for them, and oh, it looks like that ad's gone, but you remember there was an ad there before. Now, what we're gonna be doing is we saw that ad there at the top, right, from a company, I can't even remember the name of that company, but uh, we're gonna take that ad and we're gonna replace it with a different ad that's going to be an ad for SharpSpring, okay? And that's why it's so important that we check and make sure that SharpSpring isn't running their own ads already, because if they're running their own ads already, all we're gonna be doing is competing with them and no one's going to be happy in the end. But SharpSpring is not running their own ads and they've got competitors that are running their own ads. Okay, and that's really bad for SharpSpring. So I want you to see how this can be good for SharpSpring, what you're doing here. It's not good that they've got competitors running ads that are above them because when someone goes to search for them, the first thing that person sees is actually their competitor's website. And that's terrible for a brand. Hopefully I don't need to explain that one. So what we're gonna be doing in Google AdWords is we're gonna be taking an ad and when someone types in SharpSpring, we're gonna be showing an ad for SharpSpring. So that ad is in the front. Much, much better for SharpSpring. And the coolest thing about this all is SharpSpring has actually given us the ad text. <laughs> so you can see here, they've kind of explained what their whole company is. They've given you a, a, a picture perfect ad here that we can use when we go create our ad. So inside of your brand new AdWords account, you're gonna click new campaign. It's gonna give you all these options and you're going to click website traffic. That's what our goal is. And it's gonna ask you, well, where are we gonna do this? Google's got their fingers all over the internet. Where would you like to um, have this ad show? And you're gonna say on search engines, Google search engine. And you can put SharpSpring or your own company's website here. Let's just say BP or SpencerMeekum.com for the sake of this. And we're gonna keep going. So it's gonna ask you to name the ad and we're just gonna say SharpSpring. And then of course down here you can see it says, do you want it on the search and display network? We don't want it on the display network, we just want it when people are searching here. Um, and then you can choose locations and territories. This will depend on the company and where their audience is. I usually um, will select all countries and territories to start and then you can kind of hone in from here. Uh, but if, you, if you've got a small budget and you don't want to waste it on, on countries that may not work, you may just choose like the United States and Canada, throw in Australia and the UK or something in there uh, and, and kind of start with a smaller audience. English will come pre-selected and your budget will obviously depend on you. Feel free to spend one, two, three, four, five bucks a day in the beginning when, you, when you're not sure it's gonna work and you may not have a lot of money to spend. Okay, and in the beginning, we're just gonna focus on clicks. There's deeper strategies we can talk about later, um, but all we're really trying to get here is clicks because we know what people are searching for and we want clicks. 
Same thing down here, you can see site link extensions. Site link extensions are when you see these things in an ad, you can see all of these showing up. When those show up in an actual ad instead of just in the Google search, that's called a site link extension. We're not gonna worry about any of this in the beginning. Okay, now the way Google works, you can create different ad groups. We're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna say we want one ad group, so we're gonna call it the main ad group because that's what it is. And then it's gonna say find relevant keywords to describe what you're advertising. We don't want it to find relevant keywords for us. We just want to choose the keywords. Now, I've got to add a disclaimer. You've got to be very, very careful here. If you do this one part wrong, you won't make money, you'll blow your budget instantly, and nothing good will come of it. Side note, I once worked at a company that did this part wrong, and they ran ads for 10 years at a loss of almost $200,000. That really sucks. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in brackets, okay? You can see the uh, opening bracket right here. We're gonna type in the name of the company, Sharp Spring, and then usually I'll break it up and do something like this as well, Sharp Spring. Uh, and then you can expand this down the road. We can start adding like Sharp Spring Review, uh, how you know does Sharp Spring work, things like that. But in the beginning, we're going super simple. We're just going for this one keyword. If you don't put it in brackets, it's gonna show up for about 10,000 other keywords of people that have no idea what this company is. Once we've chosen our keywords, we can just go down and continue on. Now it's time to create the ad that we're looking at here. The first thing it's gonna ask you is the final URL. This will be your affiliate link to the homepage. Most companies give you this. Um, you know, For me, it's buildapreneur.com slash referral ID 745 or something like that. But this is your affiliate link. Down here, it says display URL. You're gonna leave that blank. And now we're gonna add a headline. And what do we have here? We've got the headline given to us, okay? SharpSpring is telling us what they're all about. They're a simple, affordable, powerful marketing something. I don't know what the rest of that is because it's cut off, <laughs> but probably tool or something like that, software. So we can say SharpSpring, simple, affordable, powerful. Maybe we can do that. SharpSpring. And then we could say simple, affordable, powerful. Put a pair between all those. Okay, and what it's gonna do once we enter the final URL, which we will assume we've been approved at this point. And what it's gonna do once we've entered our URL up here and entered our headlines, it's gonna start creating the ad right there for us to see what it looks like. Okay, and I could backtrack a little bit. You're going to do, you're gonna enter the company name here and then you're gonna fill in these ones, um, these next three lines with kind of simple little phrases, one or two words that kind of talk about the company a little bit. You'll wanna make sure you pin that first one. You definitely want the company's name to be first. So you'll click here and you'll click to pin this only in position one. And then the rest of these, they can kind of bounce around like Google do whatever they want with them. The next thing you want to do is add the description down here. And the description is actually given to you by the company, typically in their own Google organic results. So you can take this and break it down into two sentences. This one being one, and then this one being the second. You plug those in there, maybe make some slight adjustments. And then all you've got to do is click save and continue. Okay, and as you can see, it's gonna usually give you some kind of error like this, always complaining, always trying to get more money out of you. I promise you're good to go at this point. One thing I forgot to add is you'll probably wanna hop back into your, your campaign settings and you'll wanna set, click here at the bottom, set a maximum cost per click. In the beginning, you don't wanna blow a lot of your money. You wanna be really careful with this. So I'd set it to a buck or even 50 cents while you're testing. Uh, essentially, all you're doing here is you're saying, hey, every time someone clicks on my ad, I'm gonna spend this much maximum. I don't wanna ever go above this. And typically, while you're in the testing phase, you don't wanna be spending you know, a couple dollars when you're not sure what the return will be. But after that, you're good to go. You're gonna click publish. And then the beauty of this is it just runs, okay? It just runs on its own. All you've gotta do is monitor it. You've gotta make sure that you're spending less than you're making. If these companies give you recurring commissions, that could take you three, four, five months to actually figure out. But there's a very much power, and there's a passive income that's built into this. Once an ad starts working, it just runs on autopilot by itself, and you can do this with other companies or other keywords or expand this in a million different ways. As always, Please be ethical with this method. Make sure it's okay with the company before you do something like this or you'll get yourself in trouble.